Hello and welcome back to another video by the Canadian Home Painter. In today's video I'm going to demonstrate how I paint casing, baseboard, and at the end of the video uh, a colonial style six panel uh, door, interior door. So first I'm showing you the casing. So first I'm, I'm going to be applying the paint on the uh, outside edge and then I do the face, so the front part of the casing. I find that's the best, uh, just so if you do end up putting on a bit heavy and it builds up on the corner, when you go and brush on the face of the, the casing, that'll take care of any excess that you may have. And I'm just nice and even strokes up and down on the casing. Uh, I'm using a inch and a half tapered uh, nylon polyester blend uh, brush. I find that that works best for most applications that I, I do in residential painting. It works uh, great for baseboards and for your uh, cutting up to it and around your ceiling cutting up uh, around the ceiling part. So here, um, this is a tiled floor that I'm painting up against. Um, if you don't feel comfortable freehanding it like I am, um, definitely put some tape down uh, on the tile. Um, however, if you have a rag with you and you happen to get a bit on the tile, you can easily wipe it up if it's a water-based latex paint. Uh, if you take your time though, and I in this case, I would have the long end of the taper um, down at the bottom. And if you take your time, I find that I can get a nice, uh, nice amount of paint right down to the edge and not get any on the tile. But if you don't feel comfortable, uh, by all means, um, put a put a drop cloth or some paper or something down to cover it up, or even some tape, some painter's tape, along the uh, bottom of the baseboard. So the walls have been rolled with one coat. Now I'm working on the, the baseboard um, and then I will be demonstrating uh, taping and getting your straight line and doing your cutting up to the top of the baseboard. I find that it's easiest for me to uh, put the tape on the top edge of the baseboard uh, and then do my brush work up to the top of the baseboard And it's nice and quick when painting the baseboard uh, just to get it on um, without having to worry about getting any on the wall because you will be covering it up after it's dry. Now I'm using a pearl finish uh, acrylic interior uh, paint for the baseboards. It is by a company called Seco. Um, they have great paint. I use their uh, wall, their um, their matte finish for walls generally. So I'm using a good painter's tape. Don't cheap out and get some cheap tape. Um, it, you do get what you pay for. That I've said that a lot um, in my videos, and it's so true with painting materials and equipment. So make sure you get a decent uh, painter's tape. And then first I just will uh, put it along the top with my with my thumb. I'll, I'll uh, run my thumb along it. Uh, but then I'll show you what I do after because I don't really have fingernails. So you just want to, you want that tape to be really tight the whole way along. So I will typically use the uh, metal end on my um, on my knife. It has a just a, a metal end that is good for taking out flathead screws or opening paint cans on my utility knife. And so I will always take that along. I'm not putting a lot of pressure when I'm doing that there. Um, 
but enough. I'm, I'm dragging it and make sure that it's all nice and tight to the top of that baseboard. Because if you have any ripples or any spots that it wasn't completely tight, obviously then the paint, when you're brushing it up to it, it's going to sneak underneath and it's just not going to look great. The, the goal here is to achieve a perfect straight line and so that is just one extra tip that will really help. And then uh, using, once again, another inch and a half nylon polyester uh, tapered paintbrush. And they are made by a company called Bennett. Um, they're a Canadian company. And I have used these brushes for years. Um, I find after they get washed out a few times, they seem to open up a bit and they just become really, really good after about a couple washes. And I can use these brushes probably up to 20 times. Uh, that's like 20 different times using and washing them. Um, so they're a, they're a great brush. Um, and they, they're really just, they're excellent for a lot of different applications. So I'm putting it on the paint and then I'm feathering it up the wall a bit. I don't want it to be built up at all. You don't want to have any ridges or high points. So a key is not putting it on too heavy and always making sure that like you see there, I, I'm feathering it up the wall. Now I do like to remove the tape right away. I have been asked before about leaving the tape on um, for an extended period of time. I personally don't. I, I will remove the tape, then I have that nice straight line, and I will actually freehand the second coat. Um, so I can just get close within a sixteenth or an eighth um, and for that second coat, and that's that's a so that's sufficient so here along the uh, casing same idea putting on the tape with my finger then taking the metal end of the knife and just running it down ensuring that it's completely tight so for that first coat you want it to be good enough you are going to be going over it with a second coat um, but you want it you don't want it to be too light or too heavy and always always be feathering it away from the um, casing baseboard or wherever you are doing that brushwork so that it isn't too heavy and then removing that tape right away while it's still wet you might get some on your fingers, but it's water-based. Just go use soap and water, it'll come right off. And remove that right away. Now, here I am going to just show you uh, painting this colonial-style interior door. Um, same, inch and a half brush. And uh, I like to do the, the brush work first. But while the paint is still wet, uh, I will be using the roller. Now. For the roller, I am going to be using uh, just your standard nine and a half inch long, uh, ten millimeter uh, roller sleeve that I would use on walls. Um, I have made other videos demonstrating uh, how I use the smaller roller sleeves, but uh, you can get away with using the nine and a half inch like what you would use for a wall. And uh, they work just, they work well as well, you know, the same. Um, so I'll just show you how I, I do that. After I get all the brushing done uh, around the raised panels there. And I, I'll put two coats of the white on um, for, for good coverage. And, and that's usually sufficient. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just going to use that. Uh, roller to uh, apply the the paint on the the door um, now I don't have a lot of paint on the roller that is important that you don't have a lot of paint on it you don't want it to be too heavy um, I just put my finger in there where the door handle uh, catch would be and uh, there that's how you uh, paint casing baseboard 
and trim. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and share. Um, I appreciate all the comments and suggestions as well. And uh, hopefully everyone's having a good day. Thanks for watching.